Hello and welcome to Markets Via Devin Troxi, the daily market podcast where we decode the Indian financial markets. To start with today, the Gift Nifty is trading with minor gains indicating a subdued start for the Indian market. Asian markets did start Wednesday session with gains when Nikkei is up over 200 points. Talking about the US markets, the US futures are higher after cash market recorded three straight day of losses. All three major US indices raised opening gains to end at day's low. Data suggests US consumers uh, has fallen uh, to a lowest level since November 2023. The Nvidia did see a fall of almost 4% from day's high to end 2.6% lower. Free trial of self-driving cars for US customers lifts Tesla stock up 3%. Trump Media and Tech Group jumps 16% on its stock market debut. The crude did fall overnight tracking geopolitical tensions rent is below $86. US 10 year yield slipped and is now near 4.2% ahead of key economic data this week. And gold remains steady uh, and is currently uh, Uh, as we see a lot of uh, volatility around record high level so this is how the trade setup looks like for the global markets this morning let us now take a look at the trade setup for today considering what happened in the markets in the last trading session the market is expected to remain range bound in the coming sessions too with the nifty 50 likely facing hurdle at 22100 to 22200 levels on the higher side while the immediate support may be at 21900 followed by 21800 levels in the last trading session the sensex was down around 362 points to close at 72470 while the nifty did fall around 100 points to close at 22005 and formed bullish candlestick pattern with long upper shadow on the daily charts which was formed within the body of previous day's candle indicating a broader range bound action for the market at the lows the area of 21900 is offering strong support for the market and the nifty is facing stiff resistance at the highs around 20 22150 to 22200 levels hence a decisive move beyond this range is likely to open sharp movement for the market on either side considering the scenario the broader markets if we see have continued to outperform benchmark indices as the nifty mid cap 100 index rose 1% and small cap 100 index gained around 0.4% So this is how the trade setup uh, would look like for the day uh, but uh, considering all of these let us now take a look at the key support and resistance levels for nifty and bank nifty nifty may face resistance at 22056 followed by 22086 and 22134 levels on the lower side the index may take immediate support at 21961 followed by 21931 and 21883 In the last trading session the bank nifty was also under pressure falling 264 points uh, to 46600 and formed small bodied bullish candlestick pattern with long upper shadow on the daily charts but defended 46500 level throughout session bank nifty also consolidated within a narrow range around the key daily moving averages on the downside 46500 is acting as a crucial support while 46900 is acting as an immediate hurdle Overall bank nifty uh, might uh, see a lot of uh, volatility and one needs to be cautious and bank nifty would resume its retracement towards 47000 to 47200 over the next few trading sessions is what one can expect bank nifty uh, index uh, may see resistance at 46738 followed by 46799 and 46899 on the lower side it is expected to take support at 46540 followed by 46479 and 46380 so these are all the important support and resistance levels for both nifty and bank nifty we now take a look at the stock specific action we start with aster dm healthcare the private equity firm olympus capital asia investment is likely to sell up to 9.8% equity stake in the private healthcare service provider through a block deal multiple industry sources uh, as we see uh, and uh, this is a news coming in through the sources the block deal size is around 235 million dollar the float price has been fixed at 400 rupees per share the next stock in focus would be central depository services 
Public shareholder Standard Chartered Bank Corporate Banking is likely to sell entire 7.18% stake in CDSL for $151 million through a block deal. Sipla is another stock in focus. Sanofi India and Sanofi Healthcare India have announced an exclusive partnership with Sipla for distribution and promotion of Sanofi India's six central nervous system products in India, including uh, Frisium, a leading brand in the anti epileptic medication category. Sham Metallics and Energy is another stock in focus as Sham Metallics in joint venture with Natural Resource Energy has received a letter of intent from the Industry, Energy, Labor and Mining Department. Government of Maharashtra uh, for composite license for iron ore block with area of 1526 hectares in Maharashtra. And last but not the least, keep an eye on Prime, uh, Prism Johnson as the builder materials, uh, building materials company said the board of directors will be meeting on 29th March to consider the raising of funds via issue of non-convertible debentures on the private placement basis. So these are all the important stocks in news. Let us now take a look at uh, the FIS and DIS data. The foreign institutional investors net bought shares worth Rs 10 crore while the domestic institutional investors purchased shares worth Rs 5,024 crore uh, on the 20th. 6th of March. So all in all, this is how the trade setup looks like. One needs to understand that it's a truncated week and one might see a lot of volatility in the market as well and we have seen a lot of action as well as a lot of trigger points in the market and as well as a lot of uh, uncertainty too. So irrespective of the market condition, the volatility, the uncertainty, research will always be helpful to you. Research is the backbone of successful portfolio creation. Wealth creation is an art that we understand. We at Devin Choksi have our exclusive research services which are powerful and successful. To avail our exclusive research services, we invite you to join us. Just click on the link below and you are done. Fill in your basic details and our team will reach out to you. So don't wait any further and embark on a wealth building adventure together. Thank you and have a nice day.